that a lot. Oh me, oh my. Well, I thought that um, went relatively well. It went just like last <laughs> series. In a way, except you guys were randoming. Yeah, oh, it was yeah. quite, well, it's quite cool. Quite cool. Uh, congratulations to you for winning for winning the series. Uh-huh. It, I was surprised um, my APM was so high as Zerg. Never that high as Terran, man. Uh, 140 is like a new record. The bindings. Nice. Oh. So yeah, uh, good games, guys. And of course, uh, if there's any shoutouts you want to make, go ahead and do them before we start the interview. Uh, shoutouts. I'd like to shout out to my friends sitting behind me, Michael. Yes, I got shoutouts. <laughs> yeah, <I'm good. laughs> And, uh, yeah, he, he supported me a little bit while he was playing Alan Wake today. But, yeah, and uh, to my mom for giving birth to me, and today is Mother's Day. So. Hey, that's appropriate. Yeah. That's, that's pretty that's good. I, I like notes. it. I like it. Actually, but, wait, wait, wait one more. Thanks a lot, more. Boba Fett. Oh, Boba Fett. Okay. Uh, one more is to uh, Fade for being an awesome like clan teammate member guy, dude. Awesome. That shout out. Fate. Oh, that's uh, so. Oh, nothing King that. Prime, known as Fade, also tells us that there's no shout outs. Uh, then, yeah. Okay. We're having a fun little conversation about this being MKP versus Boba Fett. But, you know. <laughs> putting that aside. Awesome. Yeah. Boba oh, he Fett says wins shout out to Bacon way. and gives you a heart. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Um, Fade, do you have any more shout outs? Let's wait for him to uh, type it up, uh, because obviously he doesn't have a mic. Um, <laughs> oh, no more shadows. Well, uh, and another heart. He, yeah, he gave a heart. Awesome. <laughs> yep. Oh, by the way, Bacon, uh, bonus points. Um, I mean, you gave a shout out to your mom. Bonus points if she's into Starcraft and she was watching your match as well. Hopefully, hopefully your mom's into StarCraft in a way. I, I know I love a mom who, who would be into StarCraft. I, I, I totally love that. <laughs> Man bun, I have the strange feeling we're alone. Yeah. Sorry? I have the strange feeling we're alone right now. What? <laughs> and the world is going on. <laughs> <laughs> This and you could check like I was I was making only giddy. Only giddy <laughs> I was just I was just having the MKP discussion right here. <laughs> but man bun, you still here? Hi. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's just you and I now. I think everybody got dropped again. Oh what? Oh, yeah. Oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> it did that did that weird thing where it splits off. Yeah, I was trying to tell you that I think we're alone and you have a you, oh, you totally crap. didn't respond. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh. Uh, confusion here. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so it's me, you, and Fade, and nobody else. Hey, look, Amiga's back in the chat, and he's he's uh, look like he, look like he's missed. Oh, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Start, we're gonna restart the call. Um, yeah, obviously. Um, actually, who, who was the call? Was it was it you, Josh? Yeah, I've got the got the call. Yeah. Here, I'm trying to Wait, call. Okay, uh, yeah, we're going to have to restart the call, actually. Oh, no, no, he's here. <gasps> is he here. Is he alive? Is he here? Nope. Hey. Oh, nope. Alright, hang on. <laughs> oh, and everybody's Skype has stopped working for me. <laughs> this is wonderful. Alright. It 
work. Hello. Um, knock, knock. So, Skype just gave up and crashed after a certain point. <laughs> it couldn't handle the... Lost, uh, we lost peoples, man. We lost everybody. Couldn't handle it. Uh, yes, we can handle it. <laughs> handle it! Handle it. Hit him very hard. This is our town, Scrub. <laughs> yeah, beat it. <laughs> hey, man. Hold that key. Hello. Yeah. Yes, you're welcome back. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, it's all good. All right, we're here. Oh, okay. Ow. Um. So then, shall we try this again? I think we shall. Alright. <laughs> you asshole, Nico. Alright, so how do we, how are we starting this? Um, Anthony will. In, uh, All right. There we go. Uh, yeah, so, Skype is, Durfing. I gotta find a weird way to reference Skype and then ban it on the sensor list. Derp. It's gonna be a specific version of Skype, I don't know, maybe capitalized and then leave the normal one. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, uh, so here's, I guess we can talk about the games, but you guys both went random, and yeah. the first two were mirror matches. In particular, awesome. Alterzeem Stronghold was a PvP yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 It was. It was the PvP um where where um I think it was um fake. It went um DT rush. Yeah, man. Like you guys were always saying, Fade don't DT, man. He does not DT at all. And then bam. And well, all you know, DT'd. What the hell? I was proud. Good job, Fade. I was, I was. I like, like my invisible you know, ninjas. Uh, <laughs> Even though it was a PVP, man, I thought I was gonna lose to begin with. Their you know, DT rush ever. DT rush. <laughs> it was just really lucky I opened Robo. Anything for that win. So oh, Fade just wants those wins. Mm. He sold his soul to the devil, man. Mm. That wins, he says. Did you, uh, well, first things first, I had to ask is did you guys go through the trouble of planning everything out for each matchup, or uh, did you just come up with a build you wanted to use for each one? How'd you do um, this? Come on, right. give me the details. Uh, huh? the details. Well, Spill the I, beans. I, okay, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, I played StarCraft. And I, I oh, played. Wow. Protoss, when I first got the game, made like top platinum, switched to Zerg, made top platinum, and now I'm Terran again and making hopefully platinum again. So, like, I just kind of used older build orders that I remember and then improvised with new units. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Wow. Mix and match, yeah? Like, yeah, it's kind, of, it, it's kind of why, like, I got the Mothership for really kind of late, I feel, the, mm -hmm. the meta standard game and. Like, when I play Zerg, I kind of play the old school Wings of Liberty, where, like, I went Hatch first instead of Pool first, which if he went Reapers and punished me for it, I would have been in trouble in Game 2. I don't know if you noticed that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Are you eating something, Man Von? <laughs> oh, you can hear me? <laughs> All we hear is like, oh, this is good. <laughs> I'm, I'm eating, look, I'm eating Pringles. Get off my back. <laughs> All right, and I'm getting loopy, so that's fine. <laughs> that's not anyway, okay. Cool. What about for you, Fed? Oh. How's it feel? How's it been feeling, randoming? Now he says, um, well, I just kind of made it fall up on the spot. Yeah, it's hard to micro latency. Well, random is a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, his voice changed. That's how I... Yeah, um... That's how I imagine. <laughs> I really hope I'm not the cause of the lag that happens. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you're, you're totally not. Don't worry. 
There was no or, lag actually. There. I don't know. Well, we didn't experience what? any, so it might have been, uh, might have just been click latency that Fade was getting. It could have been a number of different things, but could have been something. I don't know. Uh, I don't care about lot of points because I play random okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was getting at. <laughs> I'll so play it's random. polite. It's polite, Faust. Yeah, and that game too, man. I did not expect Fade to have so many units when I did that small little pressure of mine. I was like, so much stuff. I should run away. <laughs> oh, the TBT. Yeah. Oh, my uh, he God. showed up at his base and there's like siege tank, siege tank, Vikings everywhere. Just just the sheer amount of Marines too. I was like, oh. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I'll go no, I was like, um, for, but like, um, I, I guess that's because he didn't get an expansion, and I got where I got the expansion. Yeah, you both spent your money more or less. But I, uh, you got the yeah, you got the uh, CC fast and the fade. Yeah, I got a little question for fade actually. What, um, what 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 did you go for fast Vikings? Um, because both of you, um, I mean, you were playing blind, so um, I, I know Vikings. Um, Vikings in that situation kind of seemed. A little unorthodox. So, if you'd like to shed your light, um, shed some light on that decision. Yeah, that would be, that would be great. He just likes Vikings. But if you wanted like a rational thing, I'm gonna hazard a guess that uh, they're good at taking out medevacs, so they stall any like potential drop play if I try to split up my army. And even though I was playing blind, um, yeah. that little pressure I did is like my scouting. So I scout the front. If I can attack, I'll go into it. And if I can't, then I try to pull out. Whereas that engagement mm -hmm. uh, went horribly wrong. Was like a mixture of oh. indecisiveness. I see. Because usually, um, what players do is they cut around like the six thirty or to uh, seven minute mark. They usually throw down a scan. Um, yeah, just to, I, I know. Oh, I've heard a lot about that. that yeah. And but normally, the, like uh, uh, around that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. Normally around that time, uh, Banshees are already going into the base and stuff. So if there's no Banshee, then I kind of guess they're expanded, and then I'll just probe the front with my units. So like when I'm moving out, Banshees are normally entering my base and thus reveal themselves. If there's nothing in my base at that time, then I'm just going to push out and see what he's actually doing. So I feel oh, confident yeah. in the early game that um, if it's not if there's nothing in my base, so it's not Banshee or anything, then I'm just pushing out. And seeing what he has, that's my, like, why okay. bother risking the SCV? I did because All it's right. a base map, right? So, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. like, the, I mean, I mean, that's it. I mean, that situation. I mean, the opponent could have down. Um, for example, Ward of the well, not Ward of the front, but like, and they could have that you was know, some kind of some heavy, heavily fortified front. So, mm -hmm. no, uh, in that in that situation, you probably. And wouldn't be able to break through with uh, that sort of armor. Yeah. Um. <laughs> and okay, so well, um, as I, I said, I'm with scouting and denying expansions because I've had a lot of success denying expansions with that. So. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, fair enough. And Fade says here, um, well, I think the two ranks and then the tech costed a little too much. Oh, the Vikings. I just like Vikings. Uh, Vikings are good units, okay. And I was afraid the Banshee is the one scan plus Vikings in a uh, year, the Medivac sniping plus air control. <laughs> um, yeah. 7 minute is Banshee timing, right? I think it's like 6.30 or something. I think that's the first yeah. you have to get a Banshee, so 6.30, some, somewhere around there. If they cut everything, yeah, probably. I imagine if you're just, if uh, the more transitional timing of it's probably around 7 or 8. I th yeah, I think it's <coughs> six for it to pop out, and a few more a few more seconds for it to actually get to base. I think so it depends on which map you're on, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, Alter's Zim is probably like seven ish. <coughs> same with Waystation on far spawns. Yeah, Alter Zim Frost would definitely have different results with that. Yeah. Cool, because about a minute, I think so. Yeah. Uh -huh. I have to double check that. I think they decreased the time. Cloaking. I think I um, read that in fashion notes. So that last match um, was on Merry Go Round, not Merry Go Round, sorry, King Sejong Station. Yeah. 
I don't know if we talked about... Yeah, we did talk about the ZVT. So, Kingston Drive Station, that was, the ZV, that was the ZVT. Uh, so, oh, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's talk about that one. Baby, baby, um, baby. That was interesting. Um, as I said, like I tried to play old school Zerg, so hat, the hatch first, and then um, Ling, Bane Ling, and even though the infestors were nerfed, I still ended up using them, which kind of, I felt, led to the victory at the end of the game when his army just died. <laughs> it did work out. Well, That's one kind of he kind of got him with his eyes somewhere else on the map, and that was it was pretty nice. Yeah, he was dropping in my main, and I was like, I'll just send like three or four ultralists back and just use the Ling Banelings I have at the front. Yeah, it, it was, was, it was, uh, oh, it was like the it. highlight of the night. I feel <laughs> it was just watching his army go, <laughs> and of course, oh, yeah. I hate it when that happens to me. Oh, he's noticed... a lot. Yeah, we noticed there was a drop from. Um... Okay, who, which, which one you play, Terran? Um, it was. Uh... Fade was the Terran. Fade, Fade yeah, was yeah, Terran. Yeah, yeah he's I saying that his, his dad was distracting right. him for like half the game, and he doesn't like to go bio versus Zerg a lot. He usually goes Mac, and his T is his, his Terran is his worst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tried to go for a drop like um at the. Uh, like mid game, then like it just yeah. that drop that just stayed there for the like. Drop stayed there minutes. until late game. Yeah. <laughs> hung out in the base. So, like, so distracted, and then, I mean, the funny thing was that the two medivacs were actually like in in range, in like in sight. Right? So, they actually, they literally like look at the minivac, and there would be like two like massive like yellow dots on the minivac. I didn't see it amongst the green. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> I mean, it was, you know, a little, like, kind of an interesting situation for both players there. But yeah, I felt like as soon as I got Ultralisk and Mutalisk, he was almost done. Because the tech switch between Ultra and Muta was like dead beat to any Terran. Because you either get a lot of Marauders or you get a lot of Marines, and the other one gets demolished by either the Mutalisks or the uh, Ultras. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> and what does okay. yeah he okay. was pretty happy Our when he killed the mutas but he said his micro unfortunately he wasn't good yeah I wasn't paying any attention to my mutas I was looking somewhere else on the map and I was like oh no oh no <laughs> I'll just freak you out <laughs> they tend to do that. They're giant things. Yeah, I tried to get them fairly quickly. I don't know if that was like relatively quickly, or, but so we're gonna have to surprise Fade. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> it went like it was pretty interesting. His choice of tech it just went like Marines and nothing yeah. else. It literally the like it's... is good with upgrades, Fade. You need the upgrades, man. More oh, than oh. just them. You need like um, three, three on them marines. Yeah, I can't notice like um, I mean, there was like only one engineer. There was like so many banks with like reactors. It just kind of surprised me. I was like, whoa, what is going? Is it really going all out on the marines? And like there was like one eBay and just like got upgraded one time for it. Oh, hmm. well, uh, they they had no combat shield for like a few minutes as well. I noticed that. I like, say, yeah, well, that's funny. Mm. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I think that more or less does it for the interview, so...